This is that new Sinclair ground mount we've been building. It's the Skyrack 2.0. We're really happy with it. Looks pretty simple. It's just some beefy steel. Main thing is you've got to get all your posts perfectly in a line, 204 inches apart. So here we go. Good morning, folks. It's Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar, and we're starting a new project today. It's early morning, and I just rented a fun little toy. This is the tracked concrete buggy also affectionately known as the Georgia buggy but I got a tracked concrete delivery buggy let me show you what this baby has to offer which I'll be showing it a little bit later but if you have a remote site where you're putting your ground mount you know you can't get a concrete truck in this baby is the ticket it's got tracks it's not too heavy for my single axle trailer and without concrete in it and it holds close to a yard of concrete so you can just zip right up down the hill or wherever through the gate and put your concrete where you want it so this is definitely something to think about if you're trying to do a ground mount and you're like oh man i don't know how i can get the concrete back up in there just rent you one of these babies they're about 135 dollars a day and way better than a wheelbarrow now digging in concrete, it can be a huge deal. And I think that's where a lot of people get intimidated is how are they gonna make a six foot deep hole two feet wide? How are they gonna do that? How are they gonna get concrete there? Don't let that hang you up, folks. They figured that out a long time ago, back in the Roman days. So we've already figured out new and innovative uses for the concrete buggy. And uh, we're out the material. Big Boss has got multiple rounds. He's gonna have to battle this, this time. So he's fighting this tree, that tree, that tree. That one's over. This one's over there, and we're laying this ground on it. He hates this part. That's a sweet gum tree right there. Just throw it in the dang ditch. So the first thing you gotta do is paint your line. After you paint your line, you knock out your stakes, dig your holes. Set your post for your concrete. So now Abraham's going around and he's painting each one of the holes. I'm gonna show you this. Guys, don't let yourself be intimidated by the depth of the hole on this. The goal is to have a beautiful ground mount and sometimes you gotta make a deep hole. Just don't be scared. So we're painting this and you know, we're not getting totally insane about being perfectly straight right now. We're just keeping our measurements and our post distances right. And then at the end, when you set up the laser and start setting the post, that's when you actually get really crazy about it. So this will be the next step, painting out the dig spots. If you're just a total noob, you may not know about this, but these are concrete stakes. And they're made out of steel, they're reusable. Scott and I have had multiple custody battles over these. But he ends up getting to keep them. He has full custody right now. These reusable concrete stakes are really nice and they have holes on them so you can shoot screws in anywhere you want and get these at any big box store so here we are our posts are set and you can see we got a good bit of fall we are going to stand on a ladder at the end there right here we're pretty low and uh scott's getting a trench in trying to beat the concrete and move the trucks the concrete to come in and we are going straight towards in the rain. Rain supposed to be here for 45 minutes. And there's the Georgia buggy in all its glory. I'm just getting a little more water. So if I have a slump, I want The Georgia buggy moves the post a little more than I would like. But it's getting the concrete down into this area. It's official, we beat the rain. It's been raining this February 2020 in Georgia. It's been raining like 20 out of 30 days of the month. 
Sellers in the ground. Poster in the ground. Thanks to the Georgia buggy. And the big boss himself is digging away. So we got the conduit in the ground. We got the solar in the ground. And uh, we're gonna clean up and get out of here before we get too wet. Now, now, guys, from a solar standpoint, it, it doesn't get much better than this. You got a cleared out field behind you, and uh, and then right over here, you see the trench just goes right uphill. There's the septic tank back of the house where the utilities are, and. Uh, so we're just going to bring our pipe right there. We're going to go into the crawl space and go around. And then right there, we're going to put our disconnect up. And that's going to be where we're going to tie this thing in. So this guy's got a ginormous meter base. You can have two heat pumps. It's a four bedroom house. And uh, we'll probably just tie in right there with a breaker. And the, the solar, you can see where it's stubbed up, so we'll go inside the crawl space and come around back. And pop in here, or pop in right here, probably right there. And it would be just, just right. Now these folks were Californians, came here, and originally they wanted to put it on this roof, and then they wanted to put it on this roof. Unless you really plan with your roof from the get-go to face the right direction, um, and, and, and you know really get a lot of thought I, I don't recommend roof mount solar if you've got a spot to put it on the ground so this was going to be a 12 12 east facing solar array not the best situation in georgia so i begged these folks to do a ground mount didn't beg but i asked very nicely and numerous times finally when i came out here and lined it out where it could go down behind the house, I was able to get an okay from the customer. And now they're going to have a nice little ground mount down the hill, tucked away. See the post right there. Always like to do something a little okay, bit. One more round. One more round. Windshield. Here these boys go. Put these out. Put these slap yeah, these slide applicators. We don't want to carry all those down there, do we? No, sir. So this is a whole lot easier than carrying them down there. And it's a whole lot more dangerous. Well, folks, thanks for watching. Um, we know we didn't do much solar in this video, but we got all the uh, infrastructure dug in. If you uh, have any questions about these jobs, go ahead and start firing them off during the first... Who's this guy? <laughs> start firing the questions off during the uh, in this first video. and The next video we'll be doing the uh, Q cells. We'll be doing the end phase. What's he talking about? IQ7 pluses. We'll be uh, doing a nice Sinclair ground mount. And this will just be a straight-up job. Poncho behind you. Huh? Poncho? Poncho <laughs> Excavador! You look good in that poncho. Another good job, boss. That's right, another good job. We don't mind these grid tie jobs. It's a nice jobs. little break. Good guys to work with. Nice little break from the battery. Oh, nice break for the bunker. Just man. wish it would stop raining. Yeah, it won't stop raining. <laughs> it's been challenging.